what is up guys welcome back to another video it's freaking hot as hell out today sorry uh about not being able to make a video until now i had to wait till it cooled down a little bit which it hasn't so we're doing it anyway so this is cache os and it has what's called a kernel manager which means you can install any kernel that you want without breaking your system pretty cool huh there's even a configure button look at this it's crazy. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can end up doing. And honestly, I'm a bit blown away. It's definitely the coolest thing that I've seen in a long time. Uh, look at it. You can tweak kernel options to build via nconfig and so on and so forth. Disable Luma. Uh, there's tons of options that I have no idea what any of it does. And it's beautiful. Like, this is probably for building your own uh, kernel which, you know, why not, right? And look, you can add patches and stuff if you need to. This distro keeps surprising me more and more every day. It blows me away. And this is why I keep recommending it along with Nabora. Because stuff like this makes users' experience super easy and, simpli and simplistic. It's just, it's amazing what you can do. Like, I actually want to, let's try to set this up, okay. So package name, don't need to care about that. Enable cache OS config, deal, uh, tweak kernel options to build, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what any of this means. I don't know what that means. The performance governor as default. Where is that? Like, it's really hard to tell because I need to like bring it down. Can you actually do this? Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, tickless. This is pretty nice. Select full idle periodically. Uh, select preamp full voluntary server daemon uh, optimizations native AMD native Intel Zen three. I'm on Zen three, so why not, right? And note this automatic CPU optimization. Uh, build the ZFS module. Build the NVIDIA module. Like, and then you can just click build kernel. Like, there's selections for everything here. And it's so cool. I just... Alright, we're going to click build and... I'm not actually going to complete this, but I want to see what it does. Okay? Because again, this is super interesting. So it's grabbing dependencies. It's downloading the newest kernel. A whole bunch of patches and stuff. And then it's extracting the kernel source code. And it's going to build it. What more do you want from a kernel manager? This is crazy. And another developer, Cosmos, is attempting to pull this off on Fedora. And if they can pull this off, that would be insane. I mean, look at this. It's uh, it's doing a ton of cool stuff. Uh, well, look at it go. What else do you want? Like 64-bit kernel, general setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kernel hacking. Uh, I don't know what any of this is, but there it is. Look at it. Compile. Also, drivers will not load. Compile kernel with some warnings. Hey. There's just so much stuff, and I don't know what to do. I'm going to hit F9. We're just going to default the whole thing. I mean, it decompresses the driver. Uh, it builds the kernel modules for the driver. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. And I'm done being impressed with it now because I'll end up repeating myself. So if you ever wonder if Cache OS is a good idea, I mean, with something like this, it's hard not to be. You can add your own custom patches if you want to test something that's not out yet. This makes it super easy to do. And in all honesty, amazing job, developers. This is brilliant. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Uh, I do tons of Linux videos and cool stuff like this. Well, I try every day, except if it gets too hot. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Hit the like button.